Assalamu alaikum and very good morning grade 4. Today we will finish chapter number 11. You should learn the definition of filtration, sieving, sedimentation, evaporation, magnetism. When the solute is insoluble, you do filtration or sieving. In both techniques, we separate by filter paper or sieve strainer. Sedimentation is the technique by which we separate heavier solutes from the mixture. And in evaporation, we boil the mixture. The solvent evaporates, boils, and go away as vapors, and we get the insoluble. We get the soluble solute separated. Diagrams are important. Learn them well so that you can guess which technique are we using. Magnetic separation is done when we are separating a mixture in which there is cobalt, iron or other metals that are attracted by magnets. Be ready with pencils and copies. We're doing question number four, part one. Where do we use magnetic separation? Give an example from your daily life. The answer is there. Very easy. Magnetism is ideal for separating mixer in which one of the component has magnetic properties. Metals like nickel, cobalt, iron have magnetic properties and can be separated by this method. Question number two, what type of mixer can be separated using the filtration method? I know the answer is very well uh, guessed by you and that is when there is insoluble solute in a mixer we use this technique. Filtration is one of the common methods used for separating insoluble substances from a liquid filters are used everywhere in our daily life. We have filters in our kitchen so that we can get water that water that doesn't have impurities because these filters uh, scan away separate the impurities filter away this impurities and give us good water healthy water which doesn't have impurities now question number three is you have a mixture of sand and salt and iron fillings how will you separate all the components of this mixture uh, we will t use two techniques First time the mixer will be put under magnet so the iron fillings can be separated. Now what we are left with? Sand and salt. Now sand and salt will be dissolved in water. Second step will be filtration. Sand will be left on the filter paper and salt will be there on the filtrate inside the filtrate as dissolved solute in water. Salt and water are left behind. Salt can be easily separated from water by evaporation. We will boil the mixer. Salt will be left behind as residue and water will be evaporated. Question number 4 is give an example of a mixture you can separate using evaporation. Answer is very clear. Tap water or pond water is mixture of many impurities that are dissolved in water. By the method of evaporation, we can separate the dissolved impurities of tap water. Question number 5 is how would you separate the components of a mixture consisting of salt sand and water definitely if there are more solutes in a mixture then we use different or one or more methods of separation so the answer is very clear the mixture of sand salt and water will be first filtered after filtration sand will be separated after filtration when sand has been separated we will take the filtrate and we will boil the filtrate that method is very well known you know that method what is that method name evaporation when we will heat the filtrate water will be evaporated as vapors and salt will be left behind now question number six is suppose you are making some tea you don't have a strainer or a clean piece of cloth which method will you employ to separate the tea leaves i think you know the name the name of that method is sedimentation or decantation so we will give some time to set the tea leaves at the bottom after that we will do decantation the condition is the removal of clear layer of tea without disturbing the underlying subtle tea leaves okay that's all we have done all our science labels you have to write these answers in your copies 
work hard stay kind play nice inshallah you will get the reward thanks for watching allah hafiz